Aloha. In this video I want to share with you some key concepts that I would like you to use as a framework as you practice the art, when you think about the art, when you're engaged in it. First off is a, a couple of concepts that the Grandmaster Largusa shared with us in Kauai. And he said first off that Kali is already within you and it only needs to be uncovered, revealed. You can look at it like a, a seed to a fruit-bearing tree. In order for that fruit to bear, it needs the right conditions. It needs soil, sunlight, water. Likewise, in the art within you to be revealed and uncovered, you must put yourself in a situation and circumstances where you're going to receive those kinds of conditions and nourishment that's going to open it up. Part of it is, is being part of this video series. One of the things that is really key, though, is being connected to an authentic lineage of the art, such that you find yourself in uh, under Professor Sean Lonta Yao. So make the decision, put yourself in the situation, gather information from your gurus as well. That is going to uplift you and just open that and reveal that fruit of Kali within you. The next concept, he said, was Kali is about the mastery of rhythm. When he said that, it just really stunned me. It just like blew my mind. I was not expecting that. Thinking it was about self-defense and techniques and movements. But he said it was about rhythm. So rhythm, in rhythm, we have harmony. And a lot of it has to do with harmonizing with our opponent. But I like to take these Oh, the harmonizing, for example, when you ride the blow, somebody strikes like a four and then you catch it and you ride it, right? There's a harmonizing aspect to that. What I like about the Kali and the concepts is I like it because how do we take these concepts or these movements and have them move into our daily life? So harmonizing harmonizing with difficult situation, harmonizing with difficult people, harmonizing with challenging emotions that we have within us. How do we do that? And a lot of that has to do with bringing into unison of our breath that we talked about in the first video, uh, breath with our hand and feet movement, bringing it together in unison so that they move together, harmonizing. That's the second point. Along that lines of harmonizing, I want you to think about this, about the continuity of movement. And when we get into footwork, when we're rotating our feet and our, hip, or our hips and our feet and our, our hand movement, the movement will continue. It doesn't stop. But be curious. Here's the point. Be curious of where that movement is going and where it will take you. So sometimes you know, if you strike here, where does that go? Continue that movement around, right? And just be curious. And this curiosity of following a continuity of movement will open some of these doors we talked about earlier. Uh, next point uh, I'd like to share with you has to do with our logo. We have numerous symbols, like the triangle, four points, and if you connect those four points, you have a diamond, two triangles, bases, one on top of the other. We have a circle, and we have the infinity symbol. So I want you to start looking at the art as you're practicing through the framework, through the lens of these things. Okay, I'm moving this way, I'm moving in a 45 degree angle, I'm moving in a 90 degree angle. My movements in inward windmill is circle. The strikes of one and then two continuous movement forms a figure eight, the infinity symbol. So go ahead and take these symbols, these forms that represent different things that you incorporate in your view of how you look at the art, how you practice, how you engage it. And again, these will be little keys that can open up things for you. Next is how we train. Train slow to go fast. Train soft to go hard. Why? 
you know, I am much probably like you where I wanted to go fast and wanted to know the next technique and everything like that. But as I begin to practice and really take to heart with the Grand Master said that you train slow to go fast and soft to go hard. I found that, and you may too, and consider this. As you practice slow, you'll be able to identify and recognize subtleties. Subtleties in movement, how the body moves, and that's why I'm breaking these things down to go slow, so you can see the relationships of your movement. Hand, feet, breath, all of it together. So, next is the footwork that we're going to be covering is specific for numerado inside fighting. But I want you to think about this as well. Because of a universal law of interdependence, everything is connected. What you're going to learn in this footwork will naturally, because of its dependency, interdependency, because of its connectedness, is going to affect other aspects when you move into the other styles of fighting. So that's key as well. Uh, next, I'm checking my notes here. These, these footworks, the rotation of hips and, and feet on the balls of your feet, will allow you to change direction on the spot. And it's really key to continue this, and like we spoke earlier, I spoke earlier, is repetition is a key. So you want to get in a position where it becomes automatic, a response to a particular movement, rather than thinking, they do that, I move this way because the, the movement or the attack is not going to come like how you practice. It may come differently. So you want to be able to engage and practice habitually so that things just naturally, you would just respond in a, in a natural way. And finally, we're looking to unite our movements with breath, part of that harmonizing continuity of movement. To recap, Kali is already within you, it needs to be uncovered, rebuilt, put yourself into circumstances that will give you the nourishment to allow that to come out and bloom. Kali is the mastery of rhythm, much of it is about harmony and harmonizing. The, the footwork that we're doing is specific to numerado. You want to also uh, develop the habit of seeing the art in these different forms looking through a lens. Uh, I can see the triangle on the ground, I'm moving in this direction at 90 degree angles and so forth. It'll really open up things for you as well. So those are some of the key concepts that I'd like you to inculcate within your mind as you practice and use that as a framework. There you have it. Key concepts for Kali. Until next time, be well, take care, there's more to come. Aloha.